Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm here with the homie Blaze the God, and this is Hustle Culture, man, for everybody that's new. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Come mm -hmm. over to the YouTube channel and subscribe. Also, make sure y'all follow us on the Facebook page. The link for these will be somewhere below or around this video, all right? So today, man, we're going we're gonna to give y'all some inspiration, some motivation from the homie David Goggins. This is a ex, uh, he was a Navy SEAL. He started off spraying for cockroaches, man, had a crazy ass life growing up in a racist town. Mm -hmm. um, and he went from 350 pounds to what y'all see today. I have listened to his audio book, Can't Hurt Me, multiple times, man. And I can tell y'all flat out, if you want one of the greatest books that you will ever listen to, Can't Hurt Me is one of them. Um, and we're going to be giving y'all more and more of those things on this channel. That's why I tell y'all subscribe because we're about to start implementing more and more of y'all things that can help y'all out in y'all personal life, in y'all business, in y'all endeavors, in y'all aspirations. Blaze, have you heard anything? Do you know anything that you can give them? Anything about this brother, man? Like just some things off the top before we get I into mean, it. I've seen a lot of his clips on YouTube. Okay. And uh, he is a, a very inspirational dude. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Very well-spoken, very, 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 very motivational. You know what I mean? Uh, like you said, he went from being around 350 pounds, yeah. lost all that weight. Yeah. Best shape of, of, of his life and my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, wow. so you know what I mean like he uh, he, he he definitely inspirational man it, it's, it's he's one of those guys you gotta stay up on you know what I mean for, for the motivation you know what I mean like you have to stay up on it it, yeah. it, it, it is it is a self desire it, it has to be within you you know what I'm saying to want to stay motivated but you know if you if you're going down that road and you need some inspiration he is he is one guy to to, to to look up, you know what I mean? Even if you don't go read his books, I know a lot of people ain't readers, even if you don't go read the book yeah. or even listen to the book, you can catch him on YouTube, Instagram and all that stuff like that. He's very inspirational, very motivating. And uh, Y'all could just come here and check out some of his clips, man. Some of them are shorter and longer. Like I recommend just like the 10 minutes because most people can listen to this, whether you're on your way to work, whatever you're doing, man, like this is a dude that can get your day going. He got longer clips. Um, people taking yeah. stuff and jamming them up. But we're Check him out on his fuel page, his fuel, fuel motivation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got a lot of, uh, he got a lot of clips. We're going to give y'all something small today and then we're going to let y'all go. Yeah. This man climbed mountains and all types of junk. The person whose potential is fucking great, but they want to play video games and eat pizza. Well, what I told his son was pretty much this right here. He asked me a question about he wants to be really good at tennis. But what happens is after I play tennis for a while, I want to go play video games. You obviously don't fucking want it bad enough. Because a person that you want to, I became obsessed. I became obsessed with being the baddest motherfucker that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. And I was trying to tell him, once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be, all this stuff people say, you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do. It's not about being a Navy SEAL, people. The best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. And then you help other people become better from you being the best in the world. So if your family doesn't understand, why are you so daggone crazy? Because I'm trying to be the best I can to give you the best that I am. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. People look at me and say, oh my God, you're a masochist, you're this and that. I'm not going to get into how bad I was and all these races and still training. I had 21 stretch fractures going through hell week. 21 stress fractures. You know what I did? I taped my ankles up. Roger that. I want to be a SEAL. So I did it. Become obsessed with being great. It changes everything. What you got for him, bro? I mean, honestly, I needed that myself. So, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I can't disagree with anything he's saying because of the simple fact is that he, he's reached a pinnacle in a place that I have yet to achieve. You get what I'm saying? Facts. I, I, 
I have yet to to achieve what he's achieved. So I can't disagree with anything that he said. I can say this, you know what I'm saying? Like hey, everything he's saying does make sense. You do got to be obsessed to an, to an extent. And I mean, I'm even saying that from my side, like there's moments where I'm motivated and there's moments where I'm inspired, but I'm not obsessed. And Motivation and inspiration only last for so long. Facts. And, and another person that said exactly what Blaze left off on is if most people don't know who this dude is, most people only know about Michael Jordan and Phil Jackson. This was the dude that was behind the scenes. He worked with Michael Jordan way more than Phil Jackson did. We seen Phil Jackson on the court. This was the trainer for Michael Jordan, for Kobe Bryant. This was the trainer for Dwayne Wade, Charles Barkley, and other people. He said the exact same thing that David Goggins said. So when I'm cross-referencing these people and whether we get to this level or not, it's always listening to, be mindful of the people you give your ear to because if you listen to weak, mediocre people who want to settle for mediocrity, you will become that. They say you will become the five people you surround yourself with. So if you want to become great at whatever you're doing or you want to strive to reach the highest level, even if it's one level up, you got to listen to the greatest because you can't listen to weak people and the people that want to settle for mediocrity, man, and get to where you want to get to. For people that's got businesses, people that have aspirations, you're trying to go after something, you're trying to reach a dream, whether you're trying to be a dancer, a rapper, a, a, a actor, or actress, you got to listen to the greatest people ever because those are the people that's going to give you your drive. Like Blaze said, motivation is bullshit. You got to be all in. Obsession is another word for being all in. People look at obsession like it's a bad thing, but everybody that was ever great, Michael Jordan was obsessed. Kobe Bryant was obsessed. Serena Williams was obsessed. Tiger Woods was obsessed. I mean, you got to look at it like this, just as obsessed as some of y'all are about buying Jordan sneakers when they drop and release. <laughs> Go stand on the line for hours for that shit. Just as obsessed as some of us is about going to the bar every weekend. Yeah. It's real. You know what I mean? You got to be obs that obsessed with everything else. Yeah. Especially yeah. especially if you if, if you say you want it that bad. You have to show you want it that bad. Yeah. And the way, and, and this video don't really got to be that long. We just want to give you all something today. It's between you and you. It's every morning when you look in the mirror. You hear a lot of people talk about this. It's when you want to hit the snooze. And I tell you flat out, some days I don't want to get up, I hit the snooze. But I wake up on days that I don't want to go out and make it happen. And I get up anyway. And I put forth my best effort. When you want to hit that snooze, that's telling yourself in the morning before you look in the mirror, how bad do you really want it? That's the difference between mediocrity, people that want to play it small and people that want to play it big. And you got to continue. It's you and you every day. Every day when you look in the mirror, it's nobody else. It's not the person you sleeping next to. It's you and you. And I can't remember who said it. I, I know I heard it from somewhere, but some, somebody said, uh, the days that you don't want to get up to do it, that's the day you get up and do the most. Facts. Um, the that day that you... The day that you don't want to get up and do it is the day that you get up and you make you force yourself to do more than what you would do on a regular day, on a day that you are okay with doing it, or the day that you want to do it, you get up and do more. And that was another deal. That was a, um, the white dude. They take their videos and they jam them up. Um, with that other Navy SEAL, I can't even think of his name off the top of my head right now, but he was the one that said what you said, dog. Like, they take them dudes' videos and they jam them videos together, and I can't find it right now, but um, I, don't but I mean, it, it, Jocko, it may... Jocko Willick, That's Jocko Willick, okay. yeah, he was a Navy SEAL. Jocko Willick, they take but the it, videos and jam them up, but anyway, that, that, I mean, but it, it, even that, even that saying that makes all the perfect sense in the world. The days that you don't want to get up and do it yeah. is the days you get up and do the most, yeah, you get what I'm saying, because that shows your determination and how, how bad you really want it, yeah. Uh, this dude lost 350 pounds, y'all. So really think about that. For people out there that's talking about losing weight and doing this and doing that, it's more than just talking. I ain't gonna lie. He looked like a completely different person from when he lost weight. He do. Like, this is, look, and most people don't even pay attention. That's him in the background of his book. This, yeah, is, yeah. this is him and that's him. He, he did that on purpose. So you got to really look at it like he's showing you his transformation. 
I don't know. I wouldn't have shaved the mustache and, and, and beard off. That was a little goatee. I mean, you know, you had to be clean for the <laughs> for the Navy and shit. So, um, you got yeah, was a big dude, though. He was a big dude. Yeah. You got anything else for him? Nah, man. It's just every day live to be great. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I know y'all see it on the wall, execution and grind. I got another poster I got to post up. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's all, you know, the same thing, man. It's... And, and, and right behind me, over here. Yeah. Be accountable. You got to be accountable. You know what I mean? You can't make excuses. And you got to be your number one fan, though. Like, real shit. You got to motivate yourself as days, you know? That's the most important part. It is. You got to be. if you're depending on somebody else to be your fan, and I had to learn that lesson. You know what I mean? Like. No. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping and wishing that, you know, the people that around me that I felt was the closest to me, I wanted them to be as uh, supportive or or yeah. see my vision the same way I did, and when they didn't, I got discouraged. You can't you can't depend on nobody to be your your fan. You got to be your number one fan. If you got to be your only fan, you got to be that. And I want to say this too. Shout out to those that are still doing whatever it is that you're doing when everybody tell you not to do it. That's cold as hell. That's cold blooded, bro. Bro, I'm being I'm being 100 real though. Like for real, shout out to y'all. When everybody telling y'all not to do it, oh, you ain't good enough, or you don't meet this criteria, you don't you don't amount up to X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. I salute y'all because y'all still got it in y'all to get up and do it, regardless of what other people tell y'all. And even if y'all don't make it in the way in the in the field that y'all want to be in or whatever it is, just know that you know what I'm saying. Like what y'all doing, a lot of other people ain't doing. A lot of other people don't have it in them to do. Yeah. Somebody tell them that you you ain't doing you ain't doing that well enough or you ain't good enough for that, they'll quit. Y'all still going. So shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what anybody else say, y'all still going. I salute y'all. I'm sick. I'm I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick of uh telling people they can't do something. Because you know why? Or laughing and cracking jokes at them. That's why. And what he said and what he really mean on some real shit is summing it up is you're doing it for the love. You're not doing it for the money. You're not doing it for the fame. You're not doing it for your hometown to support you. You're doing it. Why the fuck did you start doing it? Because you needed a positive release, right? Whatever it is, bro. Real and shit. I'm, I'm going to be honest because I mean. And, and I know, I know some of y'all are, are hoping to see a financial, you know, saying gain from what you're yeah, doing. yeah. I mean, every, ain't nobody doing nothing to not see a financial gain. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. But the fact that y'all still doing it, regardless of what other people say, that says a lot about your character. And people need to start paying attention to that instead of, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like people people need to get their flowers for that, regardless of where regardless of where people feel like your talent might not be or might be. The fact that you are resilient and yep. still cool and still going with it, that 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 that's a whole nother attribute that a lot of people ain't got, bro. This is real. That shit. being said, the resiliency, y'all see 29 subscribers up there, and me and my brother coming up to grind almost every single day. We're gonna keep rocking until we putting out multiple videos every single day. We're gonna keep grinding until this becomes a part of what we love and our lifestyle. We already love what we're doing because we're being creative. But until this shit is becoming a lifestyle, we're getting paid from YouTube. Y'all see 29 subscribers. I need every person that's watched this video to this point to go subscribe. Support and, us, y'all. And I like I and I like this platform because I get to talk. I like to talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is this 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 is the moment where I get to talk and just talk and just run off at the mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers gonna listen to me and not roll their eye like ah, oh, he's talking again. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe, man. It's Hustle Culture Blaze. I appreciate you as always, good brother. Right. Y'all come over to the Facebook page. The links will be around this video, man. Make sure y'all support the brother David Goggins. The reason is, y'all, like, there's this book, Winning by Tim Grover and Mindset by Carol Dweck. Those are my top three books when it comes to having drive that I, would, I will um, tell y'all to help me transform my mindset. And I got to continue because this is a daily marathon. I got one more. I got one more thing I want to say. One more. Go ahead. One more thing. One Go more ahead. thing. What you got? And for those of y'all, the opposite side of the fence, the ones that see somebody out there grinding and doing whatever they're doing. Oh, you talking about the dream killers? 
the dream killers. Stop being a dream killer. Start supporting. Start supporting. Facts. Because you'll never know what your one your 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 one little hey. Let me hit, let me let me go ahead and support you could do. I'm not saying support me. I would like to support, but I'm just saying in general, the naysayers change that. Yep. Because there's somebody around the corner dog, talking down on you too. You get what I'm saying? Change that. We gotta be, we gotta be a little bit more uh tight knit. That's all I'm saying. Culture, man. It's hustle culture, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow us, subscribe, bro. <laughs> This was cold, bro. Uh, we'll talk to y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love.